Hey, 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 Roman Rosbowski here, and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's 3 information and speculation. And today, everybody, we're going to be talking about the phone guy and clearing his name. For too long, we have been accusing the phone guy as being the purple man who committed all of these atrocious killings of the children. Now, it all comes down to the mini games in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. It all depends on when the night completion mini games not the secret ones the night completion mini games when you are following purple freddy towards the killer now if you haven't played these mini games i will uh, have one on the screen just now for you but basically you are going in turn as freddy bonnie chica and foxy you are following shadow freddy uh, purple freddy towards where the the secret room is which we assume is where the children have been murdered and the purple man comes out and destroys he dismantles each one of the animatronics over the first four nights and then on the fifth night the ghosts from inside these suits that have just been destroyed finish the purple man off now it is impossible for five nights of freddy's one to happen if the phone guy is the purple man why because once the fifth night is complete and the purple man goes into spring trap and dies the souls of the children who are inside the animatronics are set free hence why there are no animatronics other than spring trap in five nights at freddy's three they've been free they're no longer haunting these suits their their life's goal of getting revenge is complete they are free to go to heaven that beautiful beautiful end and has freed the phone guy from being the purple man it's, it's, it's as simple as that like if the if the purple man was the phone guy the phone guy died on night four the phone guy died on night four in Five Nights at Freddy's. If we're taking this literal, the phone guy died on night four. If he was the purple man, then he would have destroyed the animatronics before we got round to this phone call because he destroyed them before he died. Hence why the animatronics couldn't be coming after our booty in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So the purple guy cannot be the phone guy. I totally understand why people thought of him being that but it's a little bit obvious it's a little bit obvious because he is the only other person we ever come in contact with we got the the purple guy and we've got the phone guy nobody else there's nobody else present in these games but i still suspect the phone guy of knowing more than he's letting on he seems to know an awful lot he knows about He's been around for since the beginning. He, he knows everything. He knows that the, the, the spring mechanisms in the suits are bad. And if you go inside them, you will die. He knows all about the history of the place. He knows more about the Bite of 87 than he's letting on. And he might have even faked his own death. Which kind of blows a hole in all of this. And he could potentially be the purple guy after all. But if we're taking it at a literal sense, then the phone guy cannot be the purple man. Just can't. He just can't. But anyway, guys, that's just my theory. That is just my theory. That is just what I've been gathering information and pondering about since we've been playing Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I mean, the game isn't even a week old yet, and we're trying to work out what's going on in the story, but that's why I love it. That's why I love this game. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think the phone guy's still the purple guy, or have we acquitted the phone guy, and maybe he knows a little bit more than he's letting on? Either way, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. And I will see you soon for some more Five Nights at Freddy's 3 gameplay and more. I've been Razbowski, you've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!